Hey guys, Will here. Welcome back to Miles from Ninja's Chair. I'm sorry, it's been like two weeks since I've put anything out. Uh, the week after my last video, which was part one of what we're continuing today, um, I got really sick that week and I just didn't feel like doing anything, so I didn't get around anything. And then the following week, I wanted to do a fault, do the second part, which I'm getting ready to do now. And uh, I needed to order the uh, Model Air Sand Beige, which I didn't have and my hobby shop couldn't get. So I ordered it, it didn't come in in time for me to do a video last week, so I didn't get one done last week, but I'm here this week and we'll get this uh, video done. Uh, this video I'm basically just looking to, uh, this is kind of a companion to my smoothie build, which you can see I've got here. And uh, I've done some of the Aztec and we'll see if this will show up on the light. Let's see if I can get the light on. I don't even know if the camera will pick it up or not. Yeah, I think you can see some of it there. But uh, so I've gotten the front half of the saucer pretty much done, and uh, what I've been working on, uh, as you guys know, is trying to get this green right for the uh, strong backs and the blowout panels on the uh, warp pylons. And uh, like I said before, the uh, most of it I'll be using these decals for, but uh, the ones for the blowout panels on the uh, warp nacelles or the warp pylons are uh, they're too thin; um, they don't cover them on the model. So. I am uh, trying to replicate the color using um, the information provided by uh, Mask Design and uh, trying to get the color. But I'm also trying to uh, provide an alternative, an all acrylic craft paint alternative to, uh, to what's provided on there. And uh, so last week I went over some of the colors and let me pull it up so I can uh, be reminded of what we had here. So last episode I did the first step in this process and basically we used uh, we used the desert cactus which is this one right here from Deco Art um, and then we used five drops of the sea glass which is this one here and then we used ten drops of uh, white which this called for a, it called for a different one of what I got but I mean uh, white is for the most part white, so I've got all these updates keep popping up on my tablet. But um, so that called for two drops of the Del uh, Delta Ceram Coat uh, Brown Iron Oxide, which is uh, right here. Nope, that's not it. You know what? I'm gonna stuck it down somewhere, so I'll find it in a minute. But um, it called for two drops of it. Then we call for one drop of Model Air Medium Yellow. And uh, I know not everybody's got a hobby shop nearby, not everybody wants to necessarily have to order this stuff offline. So uh, the alternative I came up for that, which was a dead on match, was the uh, Deco Art Primary Yellow. And uh, I painted up my test swatches. And of course, you know, like I said, last time I went, I did uh, Future as a uh, thinner uh, to thin this stuff out so you can spray it, and I also did Glass Cleaner. Uh, I'm not going to continue with the future because, like I mentioned in the last video, or part one, was that uh, the future is more of like a gloss. And uh, for the strong backs, that's not what I'm looking for in this. So I'm going to continue the testing with just the glass cleaner. I've already taken the, uh, the FU out, so not doing the FU anymore. But uh, we're going to do step two and step three of this. And uh, before I get into that, I did want to say, I want to clarify one thing. Um, because I, I made this statement in the video and uh, I got some flack for uh, posting this on uh, Mass Design's uh, Facebook page and I know not everybody that watches these videos has uh, Facebook but uh, so I got, I got an email from uh, Trek Modeler because they didn't like my comment um, on Mass Design about the uh, their paint guide being pretty much worthless without the paint ratios. Now when I made that statement obviously I'm talking about paint ratios I was mainly referring to the part where you've got the mixed paints. Now, the Aztecing, it's great. I get, I'm using that now for my smoothie. So, uh, the Aztec portion is is great to use, and uh, the other parts where you're using, you know, a single colored paint to paint parts, that's fine. But my my comment was mainly meant uh, because you know not everybody, especially not people that are just get into modeling, which is what most of my videos are, are geared towards. Um, not everybody is good at mixing paints, you know, and just because if you give me three or four paints I've got to mix together to come up with a single color, 
it's not really helping me out much. It's kind of like giving me a recipe with the ingredients, but not how much of each ingredient goes in the recipe. You know, I made meatballs two weeks ago. They probably wouldn't have turned out too well if they didn't tell me what, how much of each ingredient to put in there. So um, it's the same thing with paints. You get people that have a good eye. You got people, um, and I think uh, the fellow over there, Trek Modeler, that developed this was uh, had dealt with auto paints, and, and I think Boyd has dealt with auto paints as well over at Trek Works. And you know, it's for you know guys that have dealt with paints, it may be a no-brainer for them. But for guys like me that has no experience mixing paints. Um, when I purchased the guide, I expected, you know, I was paying $35 to take out the guesswork. Well, it didn't completely take out the guesswork because, like I said, there were no paint ratios uh, for the paints that you had to mix. But, um, you know, that being said, in all fairness to uh, Trek Mala, they did offer me a refund. Um, I declined. I, I don't want the refund. I am getting some use out of the guide. Um, like I said, the only thing that I haven't really been able to use is the mixed paints because, as I went over in one video, I was trying to mix the paints and the colors just weren't coming out the same. But um, my understanding is the new guide uh, has the paint ratios and it uses craft paints. So if that's the case, I haven't bought a copy because you know uh, I just haven't gotten around to it. Plus, I just bought this one last year, um, the original guide. So um, you know, if you're looking for something to help you out, definitely go check out Trek, uh, Trek Modeler's paint guide, especially the one that you know since they've come out and they've put out the paint ratios and. Um, if you're not you know, good at mixing paints, you're new to dealing with paints, mixing your own paints, then if they've got the paint ratios in there, that's going to be a big help. But, uh, you know, and I can understand Trek Model being defensive because they worked on this and they didn't like my comment. But like I said, it's, it wasn't intended to say that the whole guide was worthless. But the part where you got to mix paints without the ratios, to me, and this is just my opinion, was worthless because it didn't, it didn't take the guesswork out of that. Um, there was still a lot of work that had to be done as far as mixing paints and for somebody like myself and many others and I've talked to other people that have had the same issue that um, you know they go to mix the paints and have been able to come out with the right colors so um, uh, Gary over at Mass Design came out with uh, has been putting out some different parts of uh, the refit with the actual paint ratios which has been a great help and um, so that's what I'm using right now and I thought I made that clear in the last video because I did get uh, somebody uh, made a comment about uh, mass, they thought I was using um, Trek Modeler's paint, and I'm not. This is Mass Design's uh, stuff, so I, it's out there for everybody to look at on the Mass Design Facebook page. So I'm not giving anything away that Gary hasn't already put out there for free. So, uh, but like I said, my goal here is pretty much to give you options. If you don't have a hobby store nearby where you can get these paints, um, as long as you have a Michaels uh, or a Hobby Lobby, um, you can get most of these paints. Now there's a couple of these paints like I talked about, the Craft Smart, that are available at Michael's, not Hobby Lobby. Um, and in the uh, last video, uh, this one, the uh, Muted Aqua, I couldn't find, to me, I couldn't find a close enough um, comparison to this in the deco art. Uh, all the blues were light, they were off quite a bit. Um, there were some that were out of stock, so I couldn't try them all. So uh, if you go to the, you know, go down there and see something it's going to be kind of hard for you to judge yourself without actually having the uh, the paints to compare them to. But um, uh, in the last video, like I said, the uh, medium yellow was pretty much a dead match. And uh, this Bridgeport Gray, which is a Delta Ceram coat, was a dead match for the uh, Pale Blue Gray uh, Model Air, Vallejo Model Air 71.046 that uh, the... the uh, mass design painting scheme calls for. Now, this week what I'm trying out is, uh, like I said last week, I wasn't able to get hold of sand beige because my hobby shop in Albuquerque there didn't have it in stock and they couldn't even order it because it was out of stock. So I found this actually cheaper than what I would have paid at my hobby shop on Amazon. It was only like $2 and some change. Um, so you can order it off of there. Um, this is sand beige Vallejo Model Air uh, 71.244. And uh, what I did was I took that, I took my little swatch here, and the, uh, the darker gray there is uh, the sand beige. Now, I know there's a lot of darker, or not darker gray, but darker brown. Um, so what I did was I took my swatch, I dabbed a little bit of that uh, sand beige on here, and I went down to Michael's today because uh, it's Sunday and um, Hobby Lobby's closed. And I found, uh, just like uh, the one is. Uh, 
Muted Aqua is Craft Smart. This is also Craft Smart, which is available at Michael's. And uh, the best match I found for this was just, it's just tan. Um, it's Craft Smart tan. So, um, and like I said, I don't know how well that shows up. I can't even tell without my video up, but uh, I don't know how well that shows up, but uh, it's a pretty damn close match. So, we're going to test that out. Uh, we've got uh, steps two and three I want to get complete on this video. So, give me a couple minutes. I'll put you on the desk. We'll get to work. Alright guys, so here we go. I've got my uh, brown iron oxide Deltas Ram coat, which I had <laughs> stuck in my box because uh, I'd been testing out some other uh, paints. I actually mixed them with it. So, like I said, uh, again, I'm going to be mixing this, uh, these paints together and uh, thinning them out with uh, my GC, my glass cleaner. Uh, which, as I said, I'm using the invisible glass uh, because it has no dye to it. So uh, I don't have to worry about any of that blue causing the, any kind of tint or that. So I'll just set that down here. And let me pull up where we're at here. So we're on step two. And uh, i got my cups here that I got from Walmart, the little bath cups. They've worked out pretty well for mixing paints. So uh, again, just a reminder, uh, GCO was the original, uh, the original formula that Mass Design put out, that Gary put out over at Mass Design. A is the alternate, just using straight uh, craft paint. So uh, we're going to mix this. Uh, we'll do uh, Gary's uh, formula first, which calls for uh, one drop of the sea glass. My cat wants to come in. We'll do one drop of the sea glass, and it calls for eight drops of the white, which I've got right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, and then it calls for three drops of the model air, air pale blue gray, which is. I <laughs> just threw that on the floor. Alright, so we need three drops of this. So we'll do one, two, three. And then, last but not least, we need four drops of the sand beige. So, four drops. So, one. Two, three, four. All right. So that's everything there. I'll just mix this up. I see enough. I didn't have the amounts of each of these paints, but I never would have guessed that putting those together in that amount would have gotten you this light of a color. So, that's where we're at, if you can see that. It's a very light, almost uh, kind of a light mint green almost. And we're going to mix a little bit of glass cleaner in here. Get this thinned out real good. All right, so I've got this mixed up. I am going to go take this, put it in my uh, my Grex airbrush, and uh, spray it on, and we'll come back and take a look at it. So give me a minute, and we will be right back. All right, guys, so we got that painted, and uh, I'm trying to get on my mood here. So it's kind of a lighter green. The shade it comes out to. So now we're going to try it with just the craft paints that I've hopefully hopefully matched up close enough to where it'll be about the same as this. So going over it again, we need one drop of the Deco Art Sea Glass. We need eight drops of the white. Eight. 
Now, I need three drops of the pale blue gray, but I am going to use the uh, Ceram Court Bridgeport gray, which I believe to be a pretty damn close match uh, to the Vallejo Model Air. So, and it calls for three drops of that. thick so and then last but not least uh, calls for the modeler Sam beige but I'm going to use the uh, craft smart tan and it's going to take four drops of that one two three four all right so we got that mixed up and I've left my paintbrush out with my airbrush so, I'm going to take this out and I'll mix it up, dilute it a little bit with my glass cleaner, and uh, we'll spray it on here and we'll come back and take a look and see how it matches up. So, give me just a minute again and we'll come back and we'll take a look at that. Alright guys, so uh, I've got that painted on and, uh, and I should say that uh, Mass Design waited like two weeks from the first uh, stage to the second stage and I think a week from the second stage of third and I'm going through this in like 30 minutes to an hour so hopefully this doesn't peel everything up when I go to pull this tape off I tried not to push it down on there too much but uh, we'll see so um, we've gotten stage two done and um, I put this tape on but uh, I can tell you that right now stage two between um, the original mass design formula and my formula just using the, the straight craft paints you probably won't be able to tell in the light, but they look identical. They look exactly uh, the same color if you can see the corners here. But we'll get a better comparison after I get the uh, third coat done, or the third step. So uh, that's what we're going to move on to now, is the third step. So, again, clean cup. Third step calls for one drop of the muted aqua, which is this one here which I haven't opened yet. So let's get this open. All right, so we got one drop of this. And again, you know, I didn't find anything really close to what this color is, but you're only using one drop of it. So there's a good chance that if you find anything close to an aqua color, um, it will probably work and you probably won't tell the difference because I'm mean, literally using one drop. Uh, then we're using three drops of the white. One, two, three. And then we are using one drop of the sea glass, which I just probably threw on the floor. <laughs> Bear with me guys. bottle technique is not on point today all right so one drop of that and then we've got three drops of the pale blue gray so for this one again we're going to go with the original mask design formula using the uh, pale blue gray model air from Vallejo and we say three drops so one two all right, so we got three drops there. And again, I've left my mixing brush outside. So I'm gonna pour a little glass cleaner in here. I've got just enough lift in here for the final stage. I'm gonna go mix this up, put it in my airbrush. We'll spray it on this side and uh, we'll come back. So give me just a minute. All right guys, so we're back. So uh, we've got that third stage painted on there now. It's kind of a lighter greenish blue. And uh, let's take a look at it. And uh, we're going to do the alternate version with just the craft paints. So again, call for one drop of this muted aqua. 
And then we call for three drops of the white. And then we had one drop of the sea glass. And then finally, we have one drop of the pale blue gray, which again, because I'm trying to use the all craft method, we're going to use this Bridgeport gray from Ceramco, which is pretty much a dead match for it. It's just one drop, oh, no, three drops of that. All right. And this time I did remember to bring my brush with me. We'll give that a little mix and we'll mix the rest of our glass cleaner in here all right and I hate to leave again but I'm gonna take this out put it in my airbrush we'll spray it on and when we come back we're we'll ready to pull these masks off and take a look at each shade and see how it turned out so give me a minute I'll be back all right, guys, so uh, we got the third and final stage on here. And uh, it's kind of a light blue, maybe a little hint of green to it. So I'll pull these masks off now and uh, get a look at it. Hopefully I can pull these ones off without pulling any paint off because, uh, like I said, it didn't allow a lot of drying time. And uh, especially this last stage here, I, uh, my heat gun died on me. so. <laughs> I didn't get to dry it as much as I would have liked to have. Bear with me guys, just one minute. I'm almost done here. <clears throat> Take a little, little bleeding around the edges because I kind of hastily put those uh, masks on there. I'll just put these side by side. All right, so get this light over here. So you see, it's a pretty close match. Um, I think the uh, the first is definitely a perfect match. The first step, second step is uh, pretty damn close to perfect. Second step, uh, and this I might not have put as as many coats on this one, so it's pretty damn close. Uh, if you can tell in the video. I don't know how well the camera's picking that up, but this one's a little bit darker. Uh, but remember, this was green underneath. So I may have just not have put as, not a much, as much of a coat on here as I did this one. But it's pretty damn close. So, um, but that's it. I mean, that's pretty much the three-step method for uh, painting the strongbacks. Now, of course, this is just a mock-up. Um, you know, on the 1350, you'd want to use the uh, the masks, and uh, mask design definitely makes some great masks. I've bought two sets of their uh, 1537 masks for the uh, the refit, and uh, really enjoyed using them. Um, that's what I'm using for the uh, smoothie build right now, which I am desperately working to try to finish, and. Uh, Things keep plotting against me. Uh, I wasn't planning on starting anything else, but uh, I have uh, been offered my first commission build. Um, someone's contacted me about uh, 
building a model for them, uh, Brian. And uh, Brian, I appreciate your uh, your vote of confidence there. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to let you down, man. Uh, I have not built the 1350 NX01, which is the only reason I'm doing it because he, he, he made me an offer I couldn't refuse, the NX01 1350. I hadn't built and I didn't even have one of my own until uh, he commissioned me to build his. And then uh, I had to go out and uh, buy my own. So, uh, but uh, I told Brian I would have him a uh, insurance policy. So I bought this one. So Brian, if I mess yours up, this one's yours, buddy. But uh, I'm looking forward to working on that. Uh, been checking out Boyd's build on, on the NX01 and uh, just a couple other videos I've checked out. And uh, I've been working on my, uh, I actually already had this, uh, I guess it's a what, 1 1000? One uh, nah, I can't remember what this one is, but uh, 1 1000. But I've uh, been working on uh, my colors as far as my hole paint. And uh, I think I, it looks pretty good. So that's what I'll be going with. But uh, I, I'm going to be working on the uh, refit still, doing the Aztecs. I'm going to try to get some more done uh, this weekend, which is Memorial Day weekend and uh, get as much of that done as possible before Brian's uh, NX-01 gets here for me to start working on next weekend. Um, now I was talking about Trek Modeler earlier and kind of the, the whole reason this thing kind of kicked up was uh, I ordered their lighting kit and uh, I'll do a review on it when I start the, because uh, I'm going to do a comparison. Uh, Brian actually bought the uh, Tenet Controls kit um, to put in his and I bought this one for mine. So uh, I'll do a review on these when I start up uh, the build series next weekend um, once I get Brian's uh, model in and his lighting kit and start planning things out. But uh, really looking forward to this. Uh, you know, no hard feelings against Trek Modeler. Uh, the only issue I had with Trek Modeler was that they used my personal information that they obtained from this business transaction to contact me regarding uh, their displeasure with my comment on their uh, paint guide, which I don't really appreciate but uh, at any rate uh, if they put out a good product um, I'm gonna keep buying it so I have high hopes for this uh, kit from Trek Modeler I'll do a uh, breakdown on this and a comparison between this and the Tenna Controls probably the first video I do um, on Brian's build for his NX-01 so be on the lookout for that uh, I'm planning to start that next weekend and uh, in the meantime, I'm going to try to get as much of this aztec done on my smoothie because it's <laughs> this has already been over a year in the making, this smoothie. And uh, uh, I hope I'm not hyping anybody up. Don't have uh, high expectations for this. I'm trying not to get myself overexcited. It's been a real pain in the butt, the 1537. But uh, it is making slow progress, and uh, I'll continue to work on it. So anyway, um, like I said, the main point of these videos, though, was to uh, give you an option if you... Uh, you know, um, are looking at the uh, Aztecs, Aztec uh, masks from Mass Design, you're looking at their paint scheme, um, I think it, it, it'll look pretty good. And uh, if you want to try the, uh, the all craft paint method that I've covered in this video, uh, if you don't have access to uh, the model layer stuff from Vallejo, um, certainly, you know, try that out, see how you like it. Um, I think it's a close enough match. Like I said, I think this blue here probably a little darker because I didn't put as many coats on it but uh, I think it matched up pretty well so uh, just to recap going with mask designs uh, strong back color scheme the only changes I made was uh, with the medium yellow the Vallejo model air I used the deco art primary yellow which is uh, I think the deco art is available at Michaels and Hobby Lobby uh, and then for the uh, Model Air Sand Beige, which is a 71.244, I use the Craftsmart Tan, which I uh, don't think is available at Hobby Lobby, but it is available at Michaels. And uh, other than that, the only other color I changed out was the other Model Air uh, Blue Gray, Pale Blue Gray, which is 71.046. I used uh, Delta Ceram Coat Bridgeport Gray, which is available at Michaels and Hobby Lobby. So, uh, those are the only three changes I made to uh, 
to the paint scheme. So you know, if you don't have ready access to this stuff, uh, to the Vallejo Model Air stuff, um, when I paint mine, I will use since I've already bought it. I will use uh, what Gary recommends as far as the the uh, Vallejo Model Air. I've got it. I might as well use it. Um, but I did want to give everybody an option that maybe didn't have access or uh, you know didn't want to have to order everything over the internet. If you've got a Michaels. Um, or Hobby Lobby. Michaels, you're actually going to have to, you're going to need a Michaels probably for this Craft Smart stuff. I, I think some of the Walmarts carry it too, but uh, I didn't, I know my Hobby Lobby here doesn't carry the Craft Smart. So, um, sorry, best I could do with that. But uh, anyway, thank you guys uh, for watching my videos. I appreciate it. I hope you find them somewhat helpful. Um, thank you guys for subscribing. And as I always say, you don't have to subscribe, but please, if you watch the video, you find any of this information useful, please hit the like button below, uh, like button down below, let me know how I'm doing. And uh, until next time guys, I will see you next week and hopefully we'll be ready to start this NX-01 build for Brian. Uh, again, I want to thank him for uh, his support in my first uh, commission build. And uh, we'll try not to mess things up for you, Brian. But uh, <laughs> anyway guys, until next time, keep modeling.